Hey everybody. Well, it's been a while. I've been promising to give you a tour of my cargo trailer that I made last year. It's a 2022 7x14, obviously a dual axle uh, cargo trailer. It was just, you know, bare plywood on the inside and I stripped it all out. I put in two inches of insulation. Uh, I put in the windows. I put in a, uh, a max air fan up on the roof. Uh, what else have I done to it? Let's see. Let me give you a shot at this side. You can see it's got the, the window there on this side. I did uh, a 30 amp um, service and inside I got a 12 volt and 120 volt panel that converts and charges the battery. I have one lead acid battery inside. We don't normally boondock yet so uh, that could easily be upgraded but right now it's just the one battery. All LED lighting which I'll show you and uh, a lot of power ports. So on this side you can see I got the this is an exit window with another regular window here they, they're all operable and the door on this side so let me turn you around and I'll bring you inside and show you what else we got before going inside I wanted to show you underneath I've got uh, my city water connection right here which is also a low point drain so I can drain the whole system and this is uh, the hot water low point drain so that's pretty much the underneath uh, there's nothing special to it Besides that, no holding tanks. I'll show you what I got inside for, for holding tanks. On the outside, I added this handrail. And we just use a portable step to get in, and it works fine for us. When you walk in, first thing on the right-hand side, you see I've got a sink and I have storage underneath the sink. What I also have this is what I use for portable water. Uh, I went this direction just because it's easier. I can put four, five, six of these in the back of my truck and have 40 gallons, 50 gallons if I wanted a fresh water with me but I really haven't had, had the need to have more than 10, 10 gallons with me and my, my drain just goes into that five gallon bucket, gray water, no black water tank. Um, and as you can see, I plumbed it so I, I could draw water from here on this side uh, if I'm boondocking or from outside connection with the city water, I can draw it from that way and have unlimited water. Of course, the store, the drain, you know, the gray, the gray water doesn't have unlimited capacity. So depending on where you are, if you were just using a sink or you know, you could just uh, drain it onto the ground, I guess, but um, this works pretty well. So I can contain the grain water in, in a five gallon, and I have to empty that five gallon every time I run out of water, which really hasn't happened. So that's underneath the sink, and the sink runs off a 12 volt pump. This is uh, my power center. Here I have uh, this, this one on the end is for my uh, the pump that you see underneath and I also have hot water and that's automatic from this Camp Lux. Real slick the way that works. Um, this is this switch here is just for an outside light that I have wired but I haven't hooked up yet. My bathroom uh, light which uh, my bathroom is basically a shower um, as you can see, I set it up with uh, corrugated roofing for the walls. I use the computer fan uh, for a vent, so when the lights are on, that vent's on. And, uh, you know, this hot water heater is instant hot water. It really doesn't run that much if we need to do dishes or if we're going to take a shower in here, which we really haven't had the need yet because we stay mostly at state campgrounds and, and whatnot that have a bathhouse. So. This is just for if you're boondocking, you could take a quick shower. 
um, for my toilet, it is it is honestly just a, a five gallon pail that we bag and we use pellets from tractor supply that you would use in animal cages and it, I gotta tell you it just it just works really well um, it's easy you bag it up you throw it away in the dumpster uh, right here is my city water connection which was below I showed you outside and there's the hot water low point drain as well so I have shut off valves here and it just plums over to the sink I also have a, a small propane tank and that's for the hot water heater in here. I could hook it up to a larger one if I needed to, but honestly it does not run that much. And then down in the corner you can see that little computer fan there. Uh, when, we're, when we're parked somewhere, if we're using the bathroom a lot, we can use that and it'll just draw fresh air through and out. And you never have any smell in the camper. And there's a small lead acid battery that I have. Uh, it's just a tractor battery. For right now and honestly it, it does the job for what we need but if we were boondocking obviously I'd want a little bit more here's my power panel um, all my 12 volt here I got four circuits um, of 120 here which I, I just have like basically one outlet on each circuit uh, so plenty of plenty of power capabilities in this in this trailer everything the lights um, all throughout. I think I have 12 lights all together and uh, they all run on 12 uh, LED lights. They all run uh, with 12 gauge wire. So just one more thing for in the bathroom is this is where I have all my connections. Uh, I have a battery shut off and that's uh, the, this is the back of my power panel and that's all my negative uh, wires connect up in there my positive wires obviously to the switches and uh, just the back of the panel but I left it open like this so I could have easy access if I ever need to add something or fix something so back out to the kitchen we have more storage up top and Pretty simple. I just built plywood cabinets, use little gas shocks to keep them open. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of storage up here. I did not put a refrigerator in this build just because I haven't really needed one yet. But as you can see underneath, I've got 120 volts and I also have 12 volts. And my idea was to add a refrigerator underneath this cabinet somewhere. And I could uh, and I could do that just by moving these water bottles around a little bit. But we haven't had the, uh, the real need yet. Let me turn you around here and give you a shot of the whole inside. And the whole idea with this build was I wanted to be able to put my motorcycle in here. I wanted to be able to put my four-wheeler in here if I use it for hunting. So we have two separate fold-down beds, which I'll show you after. But this area here, uh, from this corner back, I have 10 feet by 5 feet. So easily it can fit my four-wheeler. I can fit my Harley in here. Um, this weekend, we just went camping, and I brought my canoe. I have a 12-foot canoe. Um, I put e-track throughout and this e-track here is uh, on each wall is you can tie things down with it or you can uh, add bunks if you needed to put some bunks. I also did the e-track along all the floor. I did it on the baseboard because I didn't want um, it on the floor directly like you see in most trailers just because it catches dirt. So I have uh, two by material that's that's lagged into the trailer. And uh, it's really strong. Uh, I have no problem hooking my Harley Davidson up to this, my Ultra Limited or my Road King. <clears throat> no problem hooking it up in here and uh, driving down the road with it. I got a Max Air fan here, which is uh, is awesome. It blows in or sucks air out. You can set the set the temperature so it'll come on and off during the night. At each at each uh, bed, I have uh, 120 volts and I have. 
12 volt power points so you can uh, you know charge your phones or computers I have that on on each side so plenty of plenty of places to charge your your devices cameras whatnot I have the same thing here at this power station this is the remote for the max air fan but at this power station here I got the I got a regular uh, cigarette lighter type and then this is a USB types as well so you can easily charge different things here um, I added uh, also some coat racks here, which my wife loves. She puts uh, her things on hangers here. And these are just like motorcycle um, bungees. And I added those. And they're, they, they actually work great uh, when you got the beds all out and you want to just throw clothes up in there. You can do that. So let me, uh, let me turn things around and get the back door open and I'll show you the ramp. And I'll show you the beds out. So um, I got the back of the trailer open. I got the beds down. I just wanted to show you there's my Harley Davidson that I put in the trailer, no problem. I have a Polaris four wheeler that fits in there as well. And there's the, I told you we went camping and we took the 12 foot Old Town canoe and it fits in there, no problem. I think I have 13 feet uh, all the way up to the kitchen cabinets. So there's a, there's a little bit of uh, space in there, plenty of room for storage. So here we are with the the ramp door down and the beds down and I'll show you how those get set up after. So you can see I left plenty of room uh, to walk between them. And the mattresses are memory foam mattresses. Uh, they're eight inches thick. They're really comfortable. Um, there's plenty of space on the ends. Uh, you could flip your pillows the other way or, you know, and put space on the other end to put your shoes or, or your devices, your phones. Uh, obviously, I've got more storage here uh, to keep clothes in, gear, fishing poles, uh, your rifles, your bows, whatever. Uh, plenty of room for gear here. I have a lot of storage underneath the bed as well. And again, all these cabinets here. That wire here is for my exterior light like I was telling you that I did not wire in yet, but I will. So let me get this set up and I'll show you how these beds go up. And they basically, they're just on hinges and uh, I got a little slide bolt latch that keeps them in place. You can see the, the slide bolt catch right there. It's like that on each side and they just slide right up real easy. All right, putting these beds up, it's pretty simple. Just flip them up, catch the slide bolt. And then underneath these, uh, these legs I just got, and the legs just fold right down. You take your pillow, you got room to store it right in here. And as you can see under each bed, I've got this completely open with three doors for more storage. Uh, my idea, again, I put my fishing poles in there and I can put my bow in there if I'm traveling. I put my rifles in there. If I'm going hunting, if we're taking a motorcycle trip, we can put our helmets in there. Um, lots of different options. And... Uh, So you can see how simple it is to make this back into a cargo trailer. And there you have it, you're, you're right back in business. Um, again, full storage underneath all of these. Here's my, uh, my idea for bunk, bunks. You can buy these different attachments for this e-track. So this particular attachment holds a two by four. I just haven't made them yet. Um, you just pop it in on each side at the same height. You could have your two by fours, roll out a mat for your bed and you could have actually, you could have, I figured you could put two, you know, two kids, 
would be they'd have fun sleeping in here on the bunks if you needed to or if you were traveling you could use it for another place for storage as a shelf so lots of uh different things you can do different attachments that you can buy for the e-track so it's real versatile i keep a lot of that in here um so that's pretty much the whole the whole cargo trailer um, it took me a good part of last summer to build it I did uh, I did shiplap on the ceiling again I have two inches of insulation in the, in the ceiling two inches of insulation in the walls I did not put any insulation in the floor um, I guess I could from underneath I just haven't seen the need to do it yet um, if I take this hunting and and, and uh, in cold weather climates I may have to do that uh, right now we just when we have power which we normally do if it gets cold at night we have a small ceramic heater we put that ceramic heater on in here and it, it really heats this this thing up really quick so um, no problem heating it uh, cooling it we just open up the windows turn on the max air fans uh, and if we have to we have some 12 volt USB fans that plug right into those charging ports and you can just turn them on and it stays nice and cool in here with a cross breeze, cross breeze um so yeah again all the lights are led uh i think i told you about everything in this trailer so hope you enjoyed it uh, i will be selling this one uh, so it's for sale now and uh, i'll be on to my next build uh, but th this one until then i'm going to enjoy it we just went uh, camping this weekend up at west thompson lake and we had a great time there and uh, until next time you know Stay cool. I'll see you after my bear hunt. That's coming up next week, and uh, we'll talk to you then. Thanks for tuning in.